Welcome to Solutions to Consider. I'm Sophia Ann Montoya and I'm with Keller Williams Realty. Today's topic is Power is the Ability to Empower Others. In the studio today we have Matt Haverly. First, he's going to tell us about the service he provides. Second, he's going to share how he empowers buyers to present a great real estate offer. So, thank you for being here today. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, again, my name is Matt Haverly. I'm Senior Sales Manager at WJ Bradley. Basically what I do is I help homeowners uh, get approved for new loans to purchase their homes or if they're already in a home, then I help them with refinancing, typically to save money or take cash out of their home. Focus on how a buyer can present a great real estate offer. Absolutely. Well, before you even go out and buy a home, the most important thing is to figure out exactly what you can afford. And for many people, this is probably the scariest process because someone's examining all your income documents and everything. So, but it's kind of like going to a store without even knowing how much you can buy. So you have to get through this process. And the most important part of that is what level of qualification, how solid is that approval, is going to strengthen the offer that you put in on that new home. So the first step typically is pre-qualification. That's where a borrower comes to me, gives me a couple of their documents, not a complete set of everything, but a few things to give me a general idea of their situation. Once I get that general idea, I can say, okay, you qualify for about five, six hundred thousand, somewhere in that area. It's not the strongest approval you can possibly have. The next step would be is to get a pre-approval. Now, pre-approval is when you've given me every possible document, I've looked over everything, and I know that, okay, based on what you're telling me, I've looked at your taxes, your pay stubs, everything, you can go ahead and get a home for 600000 Now, there's one step further you can go with this, which 99% of all banks won't do, and that's called a full underwriting approval. The full underwriting approval in the loan process, it goes from me, the loan officer, to a processor, to an underwriter. The underwriter is the one who makes the final decision. 99% of the banks out there won't let you even go to the underwriter unless you're already in contract, which is kind of a little backwards mm -hmm. because you're in contract, you're under the gun, you have 30 days to close this, now we're going to find out if you're finally 100% approved. Mm -hmm. One of the nice things that my company does is we'll allow you to go all the way through the full underwriting process, any questions the underwriter might have, the clarifications they want, get that all knocked out of the way before you're even in contract. So then we say, look, as long as you stay underneath this budget, you are 110% approved. It's as good as a cash offer at that point. So this is wonderful, especially as a real estate agent, to have a buyer who has this underwriting approval because that means the only contingencies we might have to worry about is possibly the appraisal's not done yet or the title insurance, but other mm -hmm. than that are, are inspections. We have to make sure all the inspections have been done on behalf of the buyer and any repairs that have been agreed upon, but it's wonderful to have mm -hmm. this underwriting approval. Mm -hmm. 